Welcome everyone to part one of Sophie and my epic adventure in Quebec, Canada. I've got the most fun winter activities, magical travel and friendship moments prepared for you. And of course, there will be tons of tips about visiting this specific region in the east of Canada. So as they would say in Quebec, on y va. We are about to board. We are, of course, uh, as classy as always, in Weatherspoons. And Sophie's here too. Hello. We have treated ourselves to a slightly better seat than economy, which you will see in a minute. The seats we had are called premium economy. And as you can see here, we had more leg room, a footrest, a super cozy blanket, a big pillow, fancy headphones, and a little drinks table. So I personally think it was a huge upgrade from economy and I would do it again in a heartbeat. The meal was a veggie pasta dish, which was super delicious. And overall, we settled in for a super cozy and calm flight. Six hours and 45 minutes later we have arrived. It's currently minus 10 degrees outside, so I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we've arrived. I wonder if you can see this. I don't know if you will be able to, but yeah, it's minus 10 degrees and it feels amazing. But let's see what I'll be saying about the temperature in the coming days. Oh, I know it feels really nice. Uh, yeah, let's get to the hotel. Good morning from Novotel, Montreal city center. We stayed overnight here as a functional stay before we're heading on today to our first destination. You can see here, this is a, you know, a nice, nice enough hotel room. Sophie is down there uh, planning her content for this week. I'm so excited to take you along. We've just had breakfast. We're now gonna get in the cab and then we're gonna go to the proper snow. Snow, there's gonna be snow everywhere. Can you tell I'm excited about snow? Let's do it. On the way, Sophie and our wonderful guide Nicola, who you will meet properly later, told me that I had to try Tim Hortons whilst in Canada. So we stopped for some Timbits, which are best described as... So basically you have your donut, right? You have the yeah. O in the middle. So basically when they remove the O, this is what you have. Aha! Okay. It's donut O. This is where I've really arrived, you know. So how, um, how often does the average Canadian go to Tim Hortons, would you say? Oh, some people almost every day. Lots almost people, every day. Lots of people like to take their coffee out. Okay. We have arrived at our very first official hotel destination here at Sakakomi Hotel and Spa. And I'm outside on my balcony with this incredible view of the lake. I cannot even believe how stunning this view is. I cannot wait to sleep in this rustic cabin in the woods feel room with this view in the morning. I'll tell you tomorrow what it's like. I just want to take a deep breath, really. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to explore the hotel a little bit more now and show you, and then we're going to go downstairs for lunch, so I will show you that. But yeah, welcome to Quebec. That's all I'm saying. Like, these kind of views, that is what I was hoping for. For my first lunch in Canada, I had to have French onion soup, of course, and Sophie tried her first poutine of the trip. What is poutine? Quick knowledge stop. Poutine is a dish of French fries and cheese curds topped with brown gravy. It emerged in Quebec in the late 1950s. However, its exact origins are uncertain. And then we decided to explore the area around Lake Sakakomi a little. <laughs> So as you've seen, we've just walked down to Lake Sakakomi and uh, we are walking across the lake right now. So it's a wide, beautiful and open. <laughs> it's quite insane actually. So I think the temperature right now is about sort of minus five to 10 degrees, but ooh, obviously with the snow, uh, with the sun, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, this one is really went down deep. <laughs> oh my god, that is quite deep, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fun fact, in the summer, this place where we are at right now is actually a beach. <laughs> so it's very, very hard to imagine actually. Wait, I'll show you here. Um, see, so it says uh, 
a beach without supervision or surveillance obviously access to the beach is authorized only until sunset here so as you can see it's normally a proper beach so they have like a volleyball and other um, I guess stand up paddle boarding and stand up paddle boarding you know what I mean <laughs> activities here and right now it's just this beautiful magical winter wonderland <laughs> so yeah definitely the best of uh, both worlds I would say and as the name suggests, we went and checked out the spa for the evening and I was shook when I realized it was an outdoor spa and it took me a moment, but eventually I was brave enough and I realized it's not so bad and rather relaxing because obviously the water is hot. So it's really beautiful as you can see here. And for dinner, we went to the house owned restaurant where the standout dish for me was salmon with coffee, vanilla, corn cream and popcorn. Unusual, yes. Delicious, also yes. So cheers to a good and calm first day. Uh, I went to bed super early because the next day was about to become one of the most action-packed days in my life. All right, good morning. You might have guessed it. Hello, Sophie and I are here today and we are about to do snowmobiling. Um, perfect outfit, perfect weather. Hello, do you want to be in my video? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, wish us luck. I'll show you as much as I can. Woo. When we're downhill, we're gonna pull the brake. So, how, um, Jan, was I a good driver or a bad driver? Really good. Yeah? She is really good. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I, st I just started driving for the first time. So Sophie was behind me and I did the first sort of uh, half an hour, I would say 20 minutes maybe. And yeah, I wanna say, I would compare it probably quite a lot to uh, quad biking. Uh, and I would say, in case you're thinking it's like jet ski, I find jet ski way harder. <laughs> but yeah, it's super fun. You can see big wide open lake behind me there. And I have to put the camera away because I can literally not feel my hand right now. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay team, that's it. I'm back out of my gear and um, in my normal clothes. And yeah, I have to say, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. It was super fun. Uh, you know, you get a little bit of an adrenaline kick here or there. I mean, we didn't go too fast. The fastest we went was 30 kilometers per hour. But I do recommend it for all the reasons that you have seen. And now Sophie and I are super hungry and we're gonna go for lunch. Yeah, lunch was super well deserved so we went for another cozy lunch in the hotel's own restaurant and afterwards I got changed into the pink outfit that I brought just for this trip because can you hear me hello we're going uh, on a helicopter right now <laughs> so let's do this What is there to say other than the fact that for someone who is a nervous flyer like me, the only thing that helped me here was having to concentrate on filming this video and obviously to see the frozen snowy landscape from above is absolutely breathtaking. So enjoy. And this is our hotel here, by the way. Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> For the next activity, I will say that it was really an emotional and once in a lifetime adventure. And you've probably guessed it or seen it in the intro, it's husky sledding. I do, however, want to make you aware of three things. One, should you decide to do husky sledding when in Canada, please make sure to triple check the provider. It is incredibly important that you make sure the animals are happy dogs. Two, if done correctly, husky sledding is what the dogs absolutely adore and need. Huskies want and need to run as you will see in a minute and three Sophie and I were invited by the Quebec Tourism Board for this trip and to do this experience so yes we checked three four five times trust me and all I can say from what I saw is <laughs> so the answer is yes the huskies are excited when it's about to go basically everyone's like losing it because they see that we're about to start so i love it <laughs> Good morning. 
morning so i feel like no i definitely did not talk to you after the husky sorry i just packed i'm out of breath um but i'm sure you could tell it was an absolutely magical experience and i've probably already told you that in the voiceover but if you come here for nothing else than the husky sledding i 100 percent recommend this you know connection to nature experience and it felt safe it felt fun and the huskies had the most fun probably more fun than me let's face it but yeah i've just packed um you know this is sort of the last uh, the last few moments in sakakomi hotel and spa here we're going to be picked up in about 15 minutes i need to go down and get for breakfast and then we are on to our next destination and we're stopping by an ice hotel halfway through and that's all i'm saying so let's do it <laughs> 